police raided a bus to investigate a suspicious box and its contents confirmed their worst fears the officers stopped the bus and began searching for what they suspected was on board as they did so however they knew that they could be about to uncover a real tragedy then they found the dubious package and they opened it up and peered inside the raid in question happened on April 19th 2017 when Peruvian authorities became suspicious of a bus and its cargo specifically the bus was headed for Peru's capital city of Lima when it was ordered to stop by members of a number of organizations that alliance was composed of individuals from the Piura environmental division of the National Police of Peru as well as customs officers they were also joined by people from the National Forestry and Wildlife Service and together the team intercepted the bus en route to its destination What's more the authorities had reason to believe that the vehicle which belonged to the Keplina de Transportes Turisticas Internacionales company Carried something highly illegal That's why they pulled it over in order to search it before it reached its destination And after stopping the bus the authorities investigated its luggage area here They found a cardboard box measuring up to 12 inches high 27 inches long and 20 inches wide So the officers opened it perhaps hoping that they weren't too late to say what they suspected was trapped inside and as it turned out the box unfortunately contained a large shipment of Galapagos tortoises being transported to Europe the reptiles journey would have been fraught with suffering after they would have reached their destination moreover it's likely that the endangered animals would have been sold into the illicit pet trade in all authorities found 29 baby Galapagos tortoises sadly two were already dead but considering the terrible conditions in which they were being transported it's perhaps surprising that there weren't more casualties for a start the smugglers had simply stacked the tortoises on top of one another furthermore animal welfare Institute AWI biologist DJ Schubert said that the tortoises were also bound with tape I suspect that was to prevent them from moving around too much he told the dodo in April 2017 so they wouldn't make noise that might draw attention to the box and Schubert explained that the cruelty wouldn't have ended there either they wouldn't have been fed or watered he explained tortoises can sustain some period of time without food or water but they're not indestructible they would have gone through a lot of suffering and cruelty for sure indeed the conditions in which the tortoises have been kept had arguably contributed to two of their number dying and these losses may have been an extra blow given the vulnerable status of the Galapagos tortoise the species has suffered large casualties at the hands of man since as far back as the 16th century the moniker Galapagos tortoise meanwhile is actually an umbrella term for several different species of related tortoises and as their collective name suggests they live on the Galapagos Islands located in the Pacific Ocean close to Ecuador but while the islands were once home to many varieties of tortoise the numbers of the reptiles are waning there in fact there used to be as many as 15 species on the islands as a result of human intervention however four became extinct past hunting and the introduction of animals non-native to the Galapagos Islands are thought to have been responsible for the loss of these species and today the International Union for Conservation of Nature classifies the Galapagos tortoise species as vulnerable what's more it's fair to say that humans are still somewhat to blame for the animals continued endangerment the tortoises smuggled from Peru are a prime example of that after the rescue of those particular reptiles however the tortoises were taken to a zoo in Peru where they were given expert medical treatment and when they're healthy enough they'll be transported again this time though their conditions will be much more agreeable and they won't be headed for the black market of course instead the tortoises will be taken to their home in the Galapagos Islands where a breeding program is being run hopefully the smugglers won't get away either especially as both the vehicles driver and the bus company are under investigation Schubert meanwhile was disgusted by the treatment of the tortoises every tortoise who calls Galapagos home is in trouble he told the dodo and the fact that someone tried to abscond with 29 juvenile tortoises for the international pet trade is outrageous this should be yet another wake-up call he continued not only to people in wildlife law enforcement authorities or government officials but to all of us we all have to do more individually and collectively to stamp out this obnoxious illegal trade in wildlife and it would seem that Peruvian authorities are trying to do just that by cracking down on smugglers using their country to traffic animals illegally to Europe the Technical Forestry and Wildlife Administration ATFFS for example 
is working closely with the National Police of Peru to tackle the issue. Furthermore, ATFFS head Juan Otiva Meza has issued a statement condemning those who purchased animals illegally. The person who buys a wild animal threatens the welfare of the specimen, forests and all of its ecosystems. Peruvian news website Andina quoted him as saying in May 2017. In addition, they are transferred in unhealthy conditions. This is why many of them die on the way, as in the case of the two turtles in this last intervention. But thanks to the work of the Peruvian authorities, at least 27 endangered tortoises are going back home. Meanwhile, you can join the fight against the illegal animal trade by donating to AWI.